movie Princess and the Frog and it was in fifth grade, I think, and I got picked to play Ollie the Aspen Tree. And, you know, I had, I had a decent voice in fifth grade, but I think that the main reason that I got picked to be the tree was because I was the tallest person that auditioned. <laughs> but it started my theater career, so, you know, I'm happy about that. Um, I also come from a family that sings a lot. Um, we have family reunions and everybody gets together and does folk songs together and plays guitar and uh, banjo and violin and all that stuff, so that's kind of brought me into the theater world as well and um, really started getting into it in um, college and then after. Um, my favorite song in the show is definitely uh, The Rhythm of Life. I love that one. Um, it has somewhat repetitive lyrics as you're going through, but it's arranged in such a way that it just is constantly building and changing and ebbing and flowing, and it's, um, it's all very rhythmic. Um, and then there's the changes in dy dynamics and different um, voices coming forward. You know, the sopranos have their moments, the altos have their moment, and basses and tenors and everything, and I just, I love the ebb and flow of the whole song. It's wonderful. That would be a tie. Um, two performances that I really loved being in were Rent and Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, and I love both of those sh shows and the music is wonderful and everything like that, but those were two shows where the cast became a community. And you can never really predict that before you get into a show, whether you'll all just click together, but those were two of them that I just, I met this group of people and it was like, Oh, these are my people. These are my theater people. These are my friends for life. Audiences should come and see the Sensational 60s because it is an opportunity to see all the shows that you've wanted to see in one place. I mean, you can come and you can hear the music from all of these different places and not only hear it the way that you would hear it on Broadway or in a show, but with these beautiful medleys and um, complex vocal parts and everything. We, we take all of those songs that you, you may be familiar with and we build on them and make them into somewhat more of a choral performance, but still keep the spirit of each song and tie it together into a, a whole. Come see the Sensational 60s, opening January 14th. Get your tickets now.